Hey guys, it's SJ. I hope you're really, really well. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a what I wore in a week video. So if you've seen these before, it's basically just little snippets of outfits every single day of the week. Most of my days are just mum day, family day. So it's what I have worn. And I bought a lot of stuff recently in the sales so you can get a good idea of what's out there at the moment. I've teamed up with my really good friend, Fritha Tiger Lily Quinn. Fritha and I have been friends for like, over a year now, she's so lovely. I absolutely love her style. She gets such vintage looking pieces, which is really quirky with the way she dresses. She's got great makeup as well, great hair. <laughs> I just love her. <laughs> and so yeah, we teamed up to do this video together and we thought we'd make it a bit more funny by giving each other like a style challenge every day that we both had to stick to. So we've got things like her favorite thing in our wardrobe, the oldest things in our wardrobe, um, us if we do day dresses things like that so there's a little sort of outfit theme so it's quite fun I really like the way of doing this if you did like it as well then let me know if I should do it again and in the comments below let me know who you would think it'd be fun to see me do this with but it is Friday today and on the last day of the challenge we decided to do a mystery ASOS bag swap so I don't know what's in here and Fritha has styled me kind of in her style so it's kind of like our style for them or how we would style the other person I'm so scared because I know that she's going to be opening hers for me today I was so indecisive. I had something in my bag for the entire time. Was like nailed it, know what I'm getting, and then I just got nervous about it all week, and then switched it at the last minute. And I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have. So I'm really excited to see what she's got me. But what I'm going to do now is rewind to last Saturday and show you what I wore in the week, and then come back on Fridays. This will be it. So the first challenge for the seven day style challenge is favorite thing in your wardrobe so this is an old new look dress and you've probably seen it on me a million times because it is like my favorite thing it buttons all the way up to the top which i think is really nice because it's kind of got this floral print um and i'm really fussy about prints especially floral ones i find if they're like really small ditzy and girly I feel like I'm too old for that, but I like them to look really old fashioned. So yeah, it's a really nice print, I think. And it's that kind of like, um, I always call this cheesecloth, but it's probably not called cheesecloth material. And the buttons go all the way down. So it's like a total shirt dress, which I think makes it kind of like granny chic. And it has a little tie. This was one of those things that I literally picked up on the rail for like a tenner a while ago, I'm wearing this with black tights and some black boots and it'll just be a nice cozy outfit. Morning guys, it's Sunday today and today's challenge is what you wear out with the kids. So <laughs> I can't read really what I'm talking about but yeah, stay out with the kids basically and I've got the nicest thing on I'm so excited to show it to you because it is in the Zara sale right now. So I don't often wear black but I do like the whole black and gold slightly retro um, combo but this is like a sweatshirt material jumpsuit it is a jumpsuit so it's really really cozy literally feel like i am wearing jogging bottoms but all the details just really sweet like the cuffs are sweet this this and then it's got the little belt as well sorry excuse our breakfast <laughs> yeah such a cozy little monday outfit but it looked quite stylish no pockets didn't do that and yeah yeah i'm ready <laughs> <laughs> the baby shark in. Um, yeah, but it's just really comfy, but I feel like I look like I'm like really put together, but it literally feels like you're in your cozies. So I'll try and link it below, but it was in the Zara sale, so um, it'll probably just be in one of the stores, but yeah. Go grab. So for my nice top, I'm wearing this new top. It is from Zara. I absolutely love the pattern on it. It's kind of this really good material, that sort of weird ribby, I don't know what you call this material, um, that sort of doesn't crease, doesn't really stain. It's quite thin, but it's got the high neck. So it's quite good for this time of year. And I just really, really liked it. And it was literally 3.90. So my jeans are from River Island. They're slightly older because this is brand new. And they are River Island mom jeans and they're kind of cropped. And I'm wearing my H&M. These are old as well, kind of mules, glitter ones, but they're really comfy. So I wear them quite a lot in the house, like a slipper shoes. They're definitely the kind of shape of jeans that men absolutely hate, but lots of my girlfriends like them and I just find them really nice to wear and a little bit retro. So today's look is day dress. So this is probably my favorite. Like I always, always, always pick dresses. I've put my hair up as well for the occasion. Never wear my hair up, but yeah, I thought I'd shock you. Shock and dramatic change. But yeah, I don't really like the front of my hair, but I have these sort of parted bangs cut in to try and do something with it but I will show you my dress it is 
from the Zara sale. <laughs> I bought so much stuff in the Zara sale, so um, I thought it was just good to put it all in this video so you can actually still go in there and get it. But it is a flannel day dress, and it's just really, really cute with these buttons down the front. It feels very Anna Green Gables, very Laura Ingalls, and it is three quarter length midi dress. I'm five foot four, and I've got this in an extra small. I would say it's quite tight even around my bust so and I'm a B cup so if you're bigger than that you might need a bigger size but yeah it's really really nice one so it looks quite cute with a day dress to wear just white plimsolls if you're really struggling with boots and shoes and this dress has got a bit of a slit so it might look a bit strange but yeah white plimsolls are a really good option and these are just from New Look and then with some black socks which were gifted from my husband's sock drawer because he has very organized sock drawer and mine is a shambles <laughs> this will really annoy him but I don't know why it annoys him we're married, we can share socks, I'm sure. Hi guys, so today's outfit challenge is actually oldest thing in your wardrobe. And I've had this vintage jacket. So it's vintage in the first place, I don't know how old it is. Um, and I've had it for, yeah, about 10 years, which is so funny. And ironically, I went out yesterday to take a picture of me wearing this for Instagram for the challenge and lost it. I just found it in the place of no hope, which is the bit under the buggy <laughs> with all the old bananas so yes it's back in my life it's like the thing that just will not die so I'm wearing this just with a plain vest top from H&M I want to show you these trousers these are like jogging bottom material from Zara in the sale but they're like bottle green not sure about green on green but going with it for now because yeah I'm not actually going to go out in this because I would be too chilly but isn't this so cute that I've had it for so long and it is like just something I picked up I think it was like eight quid at the time and I've got so many pictures of me wearing this jacket and I've just always really liked it but it's yeah it's become it's grown with me this jacket I think Henrik hates it because I don't know if it still does had a hole under the armpit I think he sewed it up he's a very good sewer so this gorgeous little vintage number is the oldest thing in my wardrobe so over to Fritha for her which is actually even older than mine she's such so competitive <laughs> so I'm getting ready to go out now and this is our going out outfit day challenge so I'm going to show you this dress this isn't what I'm wearing out tonight so I'm going to wear my vintage jacket and trousers combo from yesterday because it's really really cold out but I got this dress oh my gosh I'm so in love with it and it was seven pounds in the Zara sale you guessed it but it literally looks like Maria Von Trapp dress so it is that beautiful dress don't you think I look like her when you know they go to the ball so it's got like a kind of slit down the front uh, so when you walk you can show a little bit of leg which I just think is really pretty I'm five foot four and I like the length of this I'm just wearing this with some old um Primark wedges they're not the ideal shoe for it but I just um haven't really bought anything else to wear with them so I really want some clogs that's what I need okay so let's see so we gave each other a budget of 50 quid, which we think is kind of a good budget for an outfit from somewhere like ASOS, where it's a real treasure trove. You really can find a good bargain. Let me see, oh my God. I'm gonna take one thing at a time. I'm really, genuinely so excited. Oh, look. <laughs> she knows me well. What is this? It's a dot dress maxi shirt dress oh lush she wears a lot of shirt dresses and i do as well. i like to not have anything too low cut and Britta wears a lot of these as well that is so funny <laughs> i do love this color at the moment let me see so it is by a brand called only oh my gosh i'm already in love with it it's long, it is a maxi dress. Oh my gosh, this is the exact shape of the dress that I had in my basket for you, Fritha. I'm gonna pop the dress I was gonna get you up on screen, but this is literally the exact same shape, like long with a shirt top and a peplum. So I'm gonna try that on. So I gave her a size eight, which is my current size, fingers crossed. <laughs> I think there's something else in there. There is. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a round bag. Oh, it's so oversized. She is done so well. I want to like run over there and rip back my bag now. <laughs> I'm so nervous. You have to head to her channel to see what I got her. Oh wow, how has she done that with a budget? Sneaky thing. Look how much is that? That is so me. And Henry will be thrilled that I have another handbag, of course. That 
that is gorgeous. I've got an ASOS one. It's got a little phone bit. That's actually perfect because I need a bigger bag like this. So I don't like carrying a nappy bag. I just dump a nappy and some wipes in my normal bag. So let's try it all on together. So she has done absolutely amazing. I am so in love with this dress. It fits me really perfectly and material is like kind of sheer but, but sort of solid. It feels really good quality if you know what I mean. It's got this cute little tie here and the bottom of it is this really folksy kind of peplum. So I've just put on some white trainers with it. I don't know what I would wear it with but yeah. Yeah probably some little boots. I know she wanted to get me some boots to go with it. I'm over the moon and it looks so good with the bag so yeah coming in for cocktails Fritha I'm on my way <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this now um yeah it's absolutely perfect so thank you so much so the girl has done very good and now I'm just freaking out about the outfit I got her, wishing I had stuck with the original dress that I had in my basket from the whole time because it is so similar to this, it would have number one been funny. And also I've gone for a bit more of a weird outfit, more day wear maybe. And I think what happened was I got a bit nervous about her being tall and I was like, oh, maybe I need to get her something from ASOS tall. So then I was sort of looking in that and limiting myself, but... Anyway, I hope she likes it. If not, it's not the end of the world. She can send it back and we can twin because this is gorgeous. Get one of these instead, Fritha. So I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if so. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me do this challenge with any other one of your favourite YouTubers and any challenges you would set us. It could even be an interior version of this. It doesn't have to be a clothing one. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Head to Fritha's channel now. It will be linked below. Don't compare us because <laughs> she's so going to win. Ah!